Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community. Hope you're doing well today. So a lot of people in the comments, people who watch the videos on a regular basis are always like, yo broski, how come you don't ever take both of your Siberian Huskies on a walk at the exact same time? Like, what's the funk? The truth of the matter is, is it's really hard taking both of these Huskies on a walk together. If I'm gonna do it, preferably I'd like to do it with no hands. Often, whenever I get a leash with both of these guys attached to my belt, that belt gets torn up or my belt loops on my pants get torn because they pull really hard. Now, typically both my Huskies are pretty good walkers, but when they walk together, they get into this weird thing where they're like, you know what? It's time for a challenge. He was always like, dude, I'm gonna make sure I'm always in front of Britney Spears because if Britney Spears is leading the way, well then I'm not alpha. And then what am I gonna do if I'm not alpha, dude? And Britney Spears is like, oh, that's the only time I'm the leader, bye bye. <laughs> so anyways, my point is, is that it's hard walking both of these guys together. Today, I bought something cool. Come on over here, I'm gonna show you guys. I got this crazy belt. I'm gonna show you guys exactly where I got it from and everything later on, but basically this belt right here has this reinforced D-ring, which is like, literally people use this to grapple out of helicopters. This material is like insanely hardcore. It doesn't bend and if you try to bend it, you're probably gonna break your knuckles. So I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna strap the Huskies to this little ring right here. Hopefully this will take away all the problems when it comes to them destroying my belts, destroying my pants, cause that's honestly a really huge problem. And if you have Siberian Huskies and you hike with them a lot, you know that when they tug or if they pull or if they get into a competition of like, hey, I gotta be the leader, your waist or your pants or your belt may suffer the consequences, but not with this bad boy. So let's put this thing on, get the Huskies all strapped up. They're just waiting over there. They're like, dude, Aroni, come on, stop talking. Let's go outside. All right, let's do it. Let me put this on. You guys ready? You guys ready? Okay, then let's do it. So what's really cool is that this belt comes in two pieces. So this piece goes through your belt loops and it's purely Velcro. Pull it through the loop. And there you go, put it around your waist. Now the second piece, which is right here, is going to just Velcro onto this piece when it wraps around your waist. So let's put this piece on first, and then we'll put the other piece on, and then we'll go explore the great outdoors. So I've got it around my waist, and all you have to do now is slip this piece in here, and boom. It just Velcros and now my shorts ain't going nowhere. Now this part can be a little bit tricky because you want to line everything up correctly. You're just going to Velcro the entire thing and you're going to want to buckle this belt in right here so that the entire thing is mega secure and it's going nowhere. This is going to pull open like this. We're going to pull that ring right out of there and this right here is gonna be what holds you guys in place. Funny how when you own a Husky, it comes to this. You literally have to start wearing like the most industrial stuff just to walk your dogs. You guys ready to mush? Are you ready to mush? All right, we got Beavis and Butthead attached. We're ready to go, we got the bungee lead. Boom shakalaka, we're ready to go. Go for our walkie talkie. Yeah, get that doggo Twitter. Now, ultimately, this is literally the best way to walk the Huskies because it keeps them at the same exact distance. So I don't have to use my hands either. Hey, Pretty Spears has got to take a poop. Poop up the jam, poop it up while your feet are stomping. This belt is just really awesome too because, whoa, broken glass. All of the weight that's being pulled on this is all on the belt, not on my pants, which is good. Now I'm not sponsored by this belt or anything, I just bought it because I figured it would make a difference in walking both the Huskies at the same time, which it definitely does. Walking them with a standard leash, having both hands busy, it's hard. So I definitely suggest trying this out. What do you guys see? What do you guys see? Come on, let's get going. 
Oh, what's this thing? We're finding all sorts of stuff on this trip. What is this? Is that a koozie? Like a beer koozie. Oh, dog Twitter. Now, when you start getting into having multiple Huskies, like I have two right here, it can be a lot of weight pulling on you. This is why you need to make sure you have a reinforced belt. I'm telling you guys, it makes this walk 10 times easier. Come on, let's go. Good job. Oh, Britney Spears is a little tangled. There you go, boy. There you go, boy. Ooh, did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? All right, we call this the end of the road. This is the end of the road. One final time before we head back in the other direction. Oh, this is where you eat the salad? Is this where the salad is eaten? Show me. Show me the salad, baby. Yeah, let's eat salad. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 I'll take you to Olive Garden if you want a salad. Come on, let's go. Good girl. Now what's cool about this bungee lead is that if ever I need to have more control over these dogs, I could just grab this right here and I got control. Bungee leads are a super important asset whenever you have Siberian Huskies. I'll go ahead and link some uh, really good bungee leads, including this one down in the description below. So you guys can uh, see which ones we use on the Chan Chan. By the way, I wanna thank everybody, all of our new subscribers for subscribing. Thank you, we're almost at half a zillion. I'm just kidding, we're about to hit half a million subscribers. Thank you so much. That means so much to Gila, Britney Spears, Rue, myself, the Husky community. I'm super excited to get all the way to a million. Oh, it's getting dark on our walk. It's getting dark. Look at that sunset out there. Look real good. Look, they made a new fancy fence. A new fancy fence for your booty. Oh, dog Twitter hub. Ooh, look at that big building over there. You wanna go break in there? Go sneak in and do some Husky, Husky uh, espionage. No, come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go turn it around. Gila. Let's go. Look at her, she's focused. She's focused in, come on. Yeah, good girl, good girl. It's a good way to practice in uh, real life situations how to break away from distractions. If you see your husky or your dog has, you know, their focus on something, they have a hard time listening to you, trying to break that focus, just move away from it, move away from it. Reward them for doing so. <laughs> there you go. You outspun that. Nothing better than two husky booties making a heart. Look at that heart. You see it. You see the heart-shaped power. Man, this thing is working out really awesome. It really is. It's doing the job. It's tugging on the belt instead of my pants. And this belt is, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned, like, military grade. Oh, it's tree time. It's getting dork, and it's getting dork. Let's go. That was perfecto, you guys did a good job. You guys did good, and look, the lighting is perfect now. And Rue's over there on the sofa. Hi, Ruby. Dang, man, that was super dope delicious. Boom, and you're free. You're free. You're free, Johnny. You're free, Johnny. You're free, go free, Johnny. Live long and prosper, Johnny. You guys need some water?
welcome back. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? That was pretty fun. Gee, you're crazy. Yo, what is that thing, dude? Today's sponsor is Linsoul with their automatic pet feeder. Oh man, we're gonna set this one up for Ruby Tuesdays. And look at Hila, she's like, wait, why can't I have it, dude? We wanna thank Linsoul for sponsoring this video today, having a good old time. Let's go ahead and bust into this. Let's see what's inside, dude. Boom, ho, 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 ho. Choco latte. All right, all right, next step, next step. Gotta flip this up. Oh, this way. Boom! They're like, ooh, Linsoul, thank you. Scan, please. <laughs> Every time we get a new pet feeder, he is like, does it come with treats? Are treats included? Well, let's go ahead and find out, Dudio. <laughs> Whoa, that is freaking cool. <laughs> Pretty Spears is just like, what hath my papa uncovered? How to take out the food tank? Take out the lip, hold the food outlet with one hand, and pull the food tank with the other hand. Now you're probably like, uh, why is this so convoluted and complicated? It's so your husky doesn't get their Houdini paws into this thing, knock it over, get all the food whenever you're not home. It keeps all of the food safe and tight. There's the tray. Ooh, slurpy, shiny, nicey. Boom, look at that right there. Look at that right there, you see that? Yeah, that right there. It looks mighty fine, doesn't it? I think so. What are you thinking? Is that a good enough receptacle for you? Are you, are you happy with that? I, I'm, I'm thinking he thinks so. What else is in here? What's this? Oh my good golly goodness. It comes with a steel. Look at that. Now that is what's up. I like that. I like that feature. That's a cool feature. Automatic dog feeders come with just the plasticness, but this gives you the option of using the plasticness or the steel, and I like steel receptacles. You don't even know what kind of chemicals exist in that plastic, you don't wanna mix it up with your food and your water and all that junk. So right in there is where you put all the deliciousness, and last but not least, we can't forget the power. Achoo! Whoa! Ooh, it's all set up, it's on, look at that. Shiny, delicious, gorgeous LCD screen. Ooh, I love it. So all we gotta do, all that's left is to put some foodio inside of the automatic pet feeder. You ready, Freddy? Yep. All right, let's do it. Sister, sister. Oh, I got some kibble, mister. The Linsoul Automatic Pet Feeder comes with so many cool options, it's a great reason to get it. You can record your own voice, so in case you want your dogs to listen to you, hear your voice when it's time to eat, you can customize it your way. It allows you to set the time, set your meal plans, and so much more. The Automatic Pet Feeder by Linsoul is definitely one of our favorites when it comes to choosing an automatic pet feeder. Plus, we're gonna have a discount code for you in the description, so if you wanna get your yourself one of these bad boys. We're gonna have the link and everything you need to know in the description. Automatic pet feeders are just, they're a really great way to feed your husky if you're not able to get home. And look how they just kinda like chill by it. Look at this, they're like, Yo, these things are really inexpensive. They're really easy to use. They're easy to set up. And the best part is they not only work with dogs, but they work with cats. So they're like multi-animal, you know what I'm saying? They work for any type of breed or pet. Well, almost any pet. So I think it's almost time for this thing to bust out some food. Are you guys ready? Come and get some food. <gasps> what was that? Oh my gosh, did you get a little treato? Come and get some food. <gasps> oh my gosh, there they all are, dude. Oh, this thing is banging. Come and get some food. Whoa, 
there's some more. Get them, dude. If you guys are interested in getting a Linsoul automatic pet feeder, we definitely suggest you check out our description below. You can get yourself one by using our code and get yourself a discount. He was like, I didn't even get to get a treat, bro. My brother stole them all. It's okay, dude. You always get all the treats, man. We want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We had an absolute blast. It was a cool adventure taking the Huskies for a walk, checking out the brand new automatic pet feeder. And again, we want to thank Linsoul for sponsoring this episode. If you guys had fun, don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. If everyone who watched this hit the subscribe button right now, we would have a million subscribers. So let's get there. Let's get to a million subscribers. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And he was like, maybe if you do, I'll get one of these treats that my brother keeps stealing. Yo, dude, give me a high five. Yeah. And until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What? <laughs> That's right. Whatever we make. Peace. Scooby da ba 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 do 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 ba do